In 1958, Cardiff played host to the Empire Games. Wales won a solitary gold medal and a 19-year-old boxer, Howard Winston, became a national hero. Wales had waited almost half a century for a boxer to take on the world. When he arrived, he inevitably came from the town of Merthyr Tidfil. The ethnic confusion in Merthyr had something to do with it. You, know, you get the English, rural Welsh, Geordies, Irish, Spaniards, Italians, all came in, into the Merthyr Valley to work in the steelworks and the pits. And it's a strange place. Even Welsh people find Merthyr strange. But a great reputation as a boxing town. And there was a legend in Merthyr that boys came into the world with their fists clenched. Howard Winston was born in humble surroundings in Merthyr Tidfil in 1939. He still lives there. It's a difference, you can't explain it. With a Merthyr people, one should have Merthyr man. You're a Merthyr man, like, you know. They don't forget it. There's a lot of people make money, become famous, and leave Merthyr. But not me, I don't want to. An accident at a local factory had clipped off the top of Winston's fingers. With this handicap, he had to revise his boxing strategy. Manager Eddie Thomas enters the story. Oh, Christ, he was brilliant. When he came to me, I said, Winston, you got a box. And I said, you got a left hand. I said, I want to see that being used more. And he seemed to be doing things as I'd be thinking it, he was doing it. I kidded him, cursed him a little bit on occasions, but in the end he, de he developed the best left hand around. was faithfully followed wherever he boxed. His fans simply adored him. In two fights, Saldivar was too strong for the Welshmen. They met for the third time in Mexico City. Preparation for the fight did not go well for Winston, and there were rumors that Howard's wife was having an affair. The day before the fight, she turned up they had a well-publicized row. The beauty and son of Mexico City was a startling change for Howard Winston, the boy born in the heart of industrial Wales, where coals created wealth and misery. The young man with a fearsome punch had also listened to his trainer. He had learned to box brilliantly. The fight was in the Aztec Stadium. The first couple of rounds, I was doing all right. Every time I was saying to eat around, I couldn't move my legs. So Eddie said, what's the matter? I said, I don't know. I can't breathe like I usually do, you know? But that's, that's what they call the altitude, you know? We trained for this, but uh, I think we could have trained longer than we did. We were there for three weeks. But uh, anybody will tell you who've been in the uh, high altitude, it's a terrible thing. My legs had gone. And yet, I was boxing well. I came up to the twelfth round and he dropped, he knocked me down for nine. I got up and he, he got done one of his crazy acts, throwing everything at me. And uh, Eddie threw the towel in. I kicked the towel out, but the referee had stopped the fight then, so I was very disappointed. 
He's more disappointed with that, with that one fight than the other two. Three brutal fights with Winston had been more than enough for the Mexican. Saldivar announced his retirement in the ring immediately. Howard returned to Wales to face yet another domestic battle, but he still had Eddie in his corner. You take more punishment off the backslappers than ever he did in the ring. You've always got these angers on that's trying to cash in on your publicity or your public image. And they all want to be in on the act. And they start leading you astray and say, oh, come here, come there. It's to show themselves off, not you. You think they're all friends, but they're not. They're your biggest enemies. on a mid-scenes that haven't been heard at the Royal Albert Hall for years. These thousands of Welshmen cheering him on, making now his fourth attempt to win this world title against the Southpaw Japanese, Mitsunori Seki. For a moment, I thought Seki had trouble with his right eye. He has got trouble with his right eye. He brushed away the blood, and Seki now is cut on the right eye. Roland Dakin's going to have a look at that right eye. He's having a good close look at it. It's right up underneath the eyebrow, and he's going to stop it, I think. And the Welsh have taken it for granted, and it's over, and it is over. It's over in the ninth round, and Winston is champion of the world at last, and is the first Welsh world champion for 45 years, and you won't stop the Welsh invading this ring now. It just went bedlam. It was my, there must have been... Three quarters of the crowd must have been Welsh. Oh, it's a fantastic night. When I came back to Merthyr, uh, when I got home, the uh, celebration started then, you know, in, with the mayor of town hall and civic reception. It was marvellous again. What a fighter. The heart he showed that night. Oh, he went over like um, a champion of champions, which he was. You know you're the first World War champion since Jimmy Wilde. Oh, and I'm proud. Great. Well, huh? 45 years. 45 years is great. I don't care if it's 100 years as long as I've done it. You know the other odd thing about Welsh boxing is they're all W's, all the world champions in Wales. Freddie Welsh, Jimmy Wilde and I out Winston. Yeah. Oh, Winston yeah. The W boys. The W boys, yeah.